Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm going to do a little something called my thoughts. And this video is going to be my thoughts on Paddington. Now, you are going to ask, what's the difference between my thoughts and a movie review? Well, a movie review is where I just go through the plot synopsis, and then I give you all my details and my rating. My thoughts is basically the same thing, except this one's going to be like a more relaxed, more calm video. And I figured it'd be fun to do it this way because so many movies come out. I get behind with movies, and I figured... You know, why not do some where they're movie reviews and do some where they're my thoughts. So with this one, I'm not going to really go through the plot synopsis, and I might do more of these in the future. Basically, what I'll do is I'll read for my notes because, believe it or not, you guys, when I do movie reviews, I actually do take notes so I don't forget what my pros are, what my cons are, and I have my notes right here with me, so I'm basically going to tell you my thoughts on the film, my pros, my cons, I'm going to get straight to the point. So when I went to Paddington, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was not really looking forward to it. Like the trailers did not impress me. I mean, they're cute and all, but I just wasn't really impressed. I liked the teaser that released, you know, the teaser would just show the bag and it's Paddington popping out. Remember that? Yeah, I thought that was cute and I liked that, but then the other trailers that released, Oh boy, I was not impressed. And I know they're based off of books, which sadly I've actually never read when I was a kid. I know some of you are probably shocked by that, but that's honestly the truth, you guys. But I would like to read the books one day, because I do, believe it or not, like to read some of the children's books. So, I was going to see this movie back in January, and I had a screening for the movie in January. The thing that sucks is that I didn't win passes to go see the movie and then when I was gonna go pay to see Paddington the theater I ended up with the flu so around October yeah around October I finally saw this movie I got it from Netflix popped it in I heard really good reviews about it and I was hoping this would surprise me I really wanted Paddington to be surprising to me and now that I've seen Paddington you guys I'm going to be honest, I really did not like this movie. Now, I don't hate the movie, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad movie by any means, but it is very underwhelming. There are positives to this movie, of course, and the first thing I will say is that the cinematography looks beautiful. I really loved how this movie was shot. I mean, it's just so bright, and the lighting... Uh, just works so well and it was just a very beautiful looking movie to look at uh, The next thing is that Ben Whishaw. He is the voice of Paddington. The original voice was going to be Colin first However, they replaced him. They got Ben Whishaw to do it and I gotta say Ben Whishaw as Paddington He did a really great job with the character and I really like the character of Paddington in general you know, I thought he was likable, he was cute, he had some charm to him, and I thought Ben Whishaw really brought a lot of nice personality to the character of Paddington. The performances are very well done. Um, from the family, I thought they did a really good job. The family that took in Paddington, uh, I thought everyone just did a very nice job with their own parts. The camera work, that, this is something I have to praise Paddington. This is something I'm going to remember from this movie. Even if I don't remember the movie in general, I know for sure I'm going to remember the camera work. This movie has incredible filmmaking. The movie itself, eh. But the filmmaking, it's honestly incredible. In fact, when Paddington was narrating the family members, you know, for us to get to know them, the camera, the camera would go up in the house. It would just go up and up from bottom to top. And it was really good. It was so spectacular in all honesty, guys. Um, 
yeah, it was so cool. And there were times where, honestly, I felt like I was watching a Wes Anderson movie because this film literally had that Wes Anderson style to it at times. In fact, if Wes Anderson actually directed Paddington, it would feel no different. I don't know if it's the case, but I feel like for some reason the director of this film kind of got an Wes Anderson inspiration from it, and I thought that was really impressive. I just loved how the camera work was used. The score to the movie is incredible. It fits well with the world of Paddington. And honestly, that's something I can go back and listen to is the score because it just sounds so good. It sounds so catchy. It fits the scenes in Paddington. And I will say that the movie is honestly well directed. The direction never felt like it lost itself. And the last positive I will say about Paddington is that it does have a few heartwarming moments that I really enjoyed. Okay, so those are my positives for the movie. The negatives is that the storyline really is not that interesting for this movie. In fact, I was actually pretty bored watching this movie. If it weren't for the incredible filmmaking behind Paddington, I could have seen myself twice as more bored than I already was. So, and I'm not saying that the writing is bad. It's not bad writing. It's just okay writing. But I did feel like that the writing just got really sloppy in some scenes, especially with how they would execute the subplot with Nicole Kidman wanting to get Paddington, and then there's the family, and Paddington trying to fail with the family, and just how it goes back and forth in the storytelling, it just felt rather messy to me. Um, the editing, the editing was definitely one of my problems with this movie. It honestly felt really choppy to me. In, especially when they would cut back to what I just said right now, the main plot and the subplot. Whenever you cut to the main family with Paddington, um, to Nicole Kidman's subplot, how it would cut each time, it honestly got really distracting for me. And I thought the editing just could have been a whole lot better, in my opinion, of course. Pacing was really rushed throughout this movie. The opening scene, like literally the first one, or two minutes of this movie it opened well it was intriguing it was funny actually so as soon as this movie opened I was already sucked in the Paddington I'm all like oh wow this movie could surprise me and then after like the first one or two minutes you see Paddington for the first time not gonna really spoil what goes on in the opening scene but all I'm gonna say is that a little conflict happens and you're supposed to feel bad, but, but how it was executed just felt really awkward. Execution, pacing, editing, all these things are what honestly really bring Paddington down for me, as well as just the script in general, which like I said is not a bad script, but it was just honestly okay to me. The humor here actually wasn't that great either. The main humor is Paddington trying to fit in with his family and for the family to, you know, care about Paddington, especially with the father. The father is the one that really didn't care about Paddington. Well, the wife and the kids actually were on board with Paddington, but it's the father that was kind of like, okay, I'm not sure if we should have this bear. But other than the few scenes, I only laughed a few times in this movie. I really didn't laugh all that much. Uh, yeah, it just felt really forced to me. When Paddington, you know, you saw in the trailer, he's using these toothbrushes and cleaning his ears, which, by the way, is not even funny to me. That was just flat out disgusting to me. But, you know, there's things like that where he's new to the world and new to the whole environment and living with family. And just these scenes didn't really work for me. Um, I just felt like the movie was trying too hard to make me laugh. The fact that he's trying to blend in with the world, that's all cool and all. But just how the humor was executed, I was kind of cringing a little bit. It was kind of hard to watch because of how the movie would execute its humor. And then the climax. Felt like it was going all over the place. Like they're at one location after another location after another location. Like I said, the camera work is still incredible. I was invested a little bit in the climax because of the camera work, but the movie was just jumping all at once and it was, yeah, it was just like I've been saying, it's really distracting to me. 
So sadly, guys, I really did not like Paddington. It's not a bad movie. It's just, yeah, it's meh. That's the best way to describe Paddington. That's cool that people like this movie. I can see why people would like this movie. I was really hoping this would be one of 2015's biggest surprises. It's mediocre at best, so overall, I will give a rating in these videos. I'm gonna give Paddington two out of four stars. I'm really sorry, you guys. I wanted to like this movie, but I just didn't. Those are my thoughts on Paddington. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know. What did you think of Paddington? Also, how did you like this style? I really want to know how did you guys like the style of just me kind of talking and just kind of reading from my notes. Let me know, how do you guys like this My Thought style? I really want to know from you guys. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate your support. You're all very awesome. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!